ladies and gentlemen, Joe Barnes here. How are you doing? And I am reporting to you today from inside Google+. Plus. Yes, I'm not reporting from my usual haunt on Facebook. I am inside Google+, Plus, a very interesting social networking platform, brand new, just introduced last week from Google. So what does this mean? This is very, very exciting. What does this mean for Facebook? Well, nothing. Facebook is still there and is still absolutely wonderful and I love Facebook. Um, but sure enough, Google Plus is going to have a huge impact, I think, on social networking as we know it. Um, and I think they're going to have a huge impact on the business side even more so because if you think about it, all the businesses, the websites, everything are all already on Google. This is now going to be an extension and I think will be a huge leap um, for the whole social media mix with businesses. Anyway, we will discuss that at a later stage on a different video. For now, what I'd like to do is just spend the next few minutes running through what's inside Google Plus um, and kind of how you use it. What are the key features? Now, first of all, um, in order to get onto Google Plus, you do need to be invited at the moment. They've not opened the doors for everybody. They are testing it. They're doing various trials and tests. Um, and so you do need to be invited. Um, now, to be invited, you need to have a Gmail account. So you do need to have gone over to Google and set up yourself a Gmail account um, and then somebody who's already on Google Plus can actually invite you. Now, before you all rush to ask me to invite you guys, I am more than happy to invite some of you. It's not a problem at all. Um, I can't invite everybody though, or I'll literally be spending all day inviting people rather than getting work done. Um, so if you would like to be invited, just head over to the Social Networking Academy page on Facebook and just post on here, hey Joe, come and invite me. Um, but uh, let me know what you think about Google+, Plus, anything you've read on it, um, how you think it's going to affect Facebook. I'd love to hear your views on how you think Google+, Plus is going to impact on the on social networking as we know it. Anyway, so once you've been invited, uh, the invite will come through to your Gmail account. So I was very fortunate that Dominica invited me and also Tracy as well. Um, so thank you very much, ladies, for that. And then you will click on Learn More About Google. And that's going to take you through to this welcome page. Now, I've been led to believe that there may be another page in between this, um, which is actually allowing you to upload all your photos from Picasa or integrate with your photos from Picasa if you've set any photos up on Google's Picasa. I hadn't, so therefore um, I didn't get that page. So I came straight through to this welcome page. Now, on this welcome page are some very handy videos telling you about the key features within the Google Plus project, okay? So you've got circles, which is about going out and grabbing all your friends, and I'll just run through those in a second. Hangouts are about going live onto a video chat. And uh, at the time of recording this video, we're also expecting an announcement from Facebook this afternoon uh, where it's believed that they have integrated with Skype and will be offering video chat on Facebook as well. Um, and then F and Sparks is almost like you're a, a, a Google reader, okay, where you can get all the stuff that you're interested in and it makes it very easy for you to go and share it um, with other people, okay? So go and check out these videos once you're in here. There are some various notes about the fact that it is on a field trial and the different things that do and don't work. Uh, and then just simply click on complete your profile. Now, when you click on complete your profile, you will get a slightly different page. The reason mine's come up like this is because I've already gone in and done this. But you will get a page and the first thing it will come up is it will ask you for your tagline and just some various bits of information. And then once you've done that, it'll ask you to go through to your full profile. This is your full profile. So this is where you can now really start to put some information about yourself. I've put very limited information at the moment. You know, I, I want to do a much longer intro and, and stuff like that. So this is all just sort of me just setting it up. So um, once you get into here, you can go in and you can put as much or as little as you like. Um, you can put your occupation, your employment, where you live, um, and you can choose as well how much people see of the information. So if I go in here, to, for instance, to one of my emails, I can click on that. Um, and down here, if you've started to set up your circles, in other words, groups of friends, you can actually decide, well, do you want anyone to see this? 
extended circles are going to be friends of friends, your circles, only you, or you can even go and customize it. Okay, so we'll go into all of that a little bit later, but that's basically what you can do on here. You can actually decide how much information you want to share with people. You can put in links to all of your information where you are on the web, um, where information is all about you, your product, your website, etc. Um, and then just click done editing. Okay, so this is your profile. You can come in here at any time and edit. It's very easy to upload photos. You just click on the photo link and it will uh, ask you to browse for photos on your desktop. Um, and that's it really. That's, that's, all, that's, that's all you need to know about your profile. Now you can go in here to photos and you can upload new photos. Very, very easy. You just click on upload and then select photos from your computer. You can literally drag photos just straight on here. Okay, and upload more photos. You can upload videos. Um, again, very easy. You just upload new videos straight from your computer, just as you would into YouTube or something. Just drag your videos on. Um, your plus ones are where you start going at. These are just like likes. So every time you go and you plus one something, it's going to... Um, show up in here so when you're looking at other people's profiles you can go and have a look and see what they like now I think this is going to be hugely important when it comes to advertising I'm completely guessing here guys I don't I, I have no inside knowledge but if you think about Facebook advertising is all based on likes and interests okay um, and I think that Google at the moment has got obviously pay-per-click, um, which is based on keywords, but I think this whole plus one section here is going to be vital for future advertising. I'm really excited to see what happens with advertising in the future because the wonderful thing about Facebook is it's so completely targeted um, to the demographics of who you want to attract. So if this is going to bring us a similar effect on Google, then I just think it's going to be wonderful for, for, uh, for paid advertising. Um, and then these are the posts that you've made. So this is kind of like your wall. This is exactly like your wall. Okay. Um, so very, very interesting stuff. Now that's your profile. This little circle up here is your profile. If I head over to this here, this is circles and this is where you would go and grab friends. Okay. Now you're instantly given friends, family, acquaintances and following. Okay. These are the circles that you are given by default. You can create new circles. So I've created a circle at the moment just called I am friends. I'm going to create a circle soon called my social media buddies um, and gradually build these up over time. OK, and it's very easy. Most of these people here are people that I'm currently following. Um, there are very few people currently on Google Plus. So I'm going to start searching out people over the next few days. But most of these people here are people that I'm actually following at the moment. Um, and then I've got a couple of friends on there. So um, very, very easy. You just literally go and find the people that you want to um, to create a circle with and then you just go and you drag them into a new circle and you create the circle and you can call it whatever you like. Now each of these people are going to be notified that they've been placed in one of your circles, okay, but they're not going to be told the name of your circle, all right? So you can call your circle whatever you like um, and then uh, include people within that circle. So that is the basics on circles. If we go over to here, this is your photos, photos from your circles. Um, so these are all the photos that are being shared at the moment by um, the people within your circles. OK, you can also do photos from your phone when you've started uploading photos from your phone. Uh, you can have photos just of you and your albums as well. So quite a big thing photo sharing, isn't it? I mean, it's the biggest activity on Facebook. Um, so photo sharing is, is a big part of this here. And then over here is your stream. This is kind of like your home page. OK. Um, and this is your stream. So this is people that are posting, uh, people from within your circles that are posting um, and you are able to then obviously go in and comment and talk to them and all the rest of it. OK, now you can decide who what posts you want to see on your stream. So I could say uh, if I had a circle with friends or family or acquaintances, I could like, click I am friends at the moment, for instance. And I'm only following. Uh, I've only got Tracy and Dominica in there um, and Pete as well. So I can go in now and just have a look at all of um, Dominica's 
um, posts or Pete or Tracy's, okay? Um, or I could just click on my following, the people I'm following, and I could go through and just have a look and see what they're talking about and go and comment and chat with uh, with those guys, okay? Um, or, you know, any whichever circles I've set up, I can just go and see my wall by those people. This is a little bit like filtering out your news feed on Facebook. You know how if you go into Facebook and you go to your home page over here um, and you can basically go up here to most recent and you can filter so you can look at posts by status updates or you can look at posts by your friends list, segmenting your friends lists. Okay, it's a little bit like that, but this is right within your home page. So it's right within your stream that you can just go and do that and filter what you want to have a look at. Okay, plus you get notifications here as well. So you can click on notifications um, and it's people that with, are within your circles. Uh, sorry, it's people that have commented on posts that have been on your stream. Okay, so that's where you're going to get notifications. Um, and I think, bearing in mind I've only been on this for a couple of hours, guys, um, I'm only going to get a notification if it's a comment that I've gone and commented on. Okay, so I've gone and commented on Chris Brogren's post here. And now because other people are commenting it, I'm getting a notification. Again, very, very similar to Facebook. Okay, um, this incoming one is pretty cool as well. This is where people are sharing stuff about you who aren't in your circles yet. So you'll be able to go and see people who are sharing stuff about you and add them to your circles if you want to. Okay, so that's very good as well. Now, heading down to Sparks, how are we doing for time? Gosh, 11 minutes. I'm going to keep going though because I think it's important just to run through and show you guys how to how to use this. So I'm going to keep going on this. We go down to Sparks and this is where you can go and just find stuff that you're interested in. Okay, so you can literally type in, as I did this morning, social media. You could just type in social media and uh, go and have a look and see whether that's a stream that you're interested in. And then you can add the interest. Okay, and then it'll be over here on the left hand side. So anytime you want to just go and have a look at that stream, you can just click on, you know, your your sparks that you've decided to, that you want to like. And if you see something that you really like, then you can click share and you can go in and share this post. OK, so it's, it is just that's how easy it is to go and share content off the web, which is fantastic. So heading over to back to your stream, this is your status update bar. This is where you can add anything you want to add and you could add a photo, you could create an album, you can upload a video, you could upload something from YouTube here, um, you can attach a link. OK, um, and you can share a location. All right. So we don't want to do that at the moment. Just just uh, let me close that. OK. All right. So you can put any update here and then you can decide who you want to share it with. So you can click on here and you can decide to share it with your circles or just your IM friends or just the people you're following or extended circles or fully public. Or you can even type in an individual name. If you just want to share a post with one person, you can type in an individual name and it will go to that name. So if I type in Tracy, I could literally just click Tracy and my stream post here would just go to Tracy. So guys, that's kind of an overview of it. Tracy was in a Hangout. Let's go and see if she's there now. I want to introduce you to Hangouts. Um, start a Hangout here. You can go and start a Hangout. Let's go and see if Tracy's there within the Hangout. Okay, I need to check my hair because it immediately comes up on video cam. Now, when you do first go to Hangout, then you are going to be asked. It's going to bring me up. Hello, there I am. How are you doing? <laughs> so what's going to happen is when you first create um, your Hangout, you're going to get something come up. I think I've still got it on my desktop, actually. Let me go and find it. Oops, hold on. Uh, yes, here it is. OK, you're going to get this install plugin. So you do need to go in and just install the plugin before you can actually get into your Google Hangout. OK, but then you're in here, which is just a live video chat. So let's click Hangout. And hopefully Tracy's going to pop up. And uh, oh, there she is! Hello, There's Tracy. Well done, I can hear. Hello, Tracy. How are you doing? I'm here. Oh, she can't hear me, unfortunately. Well done. We can hear you. <laughs> 
And look at that, Tracy live on live chat. Here we are on a Google Hangout. Unfortunately, having a aha, problem. Aha. Aha. Can you hear me? Aha. Can you hear me? No. No? Oh, unfortunately, I can hear you perfectly. But you can obviously go over here and invite people. Wow, this is great. You can chat as well. Look, so I can type in. Can I type in? I, here we go. I can hear you. You're live on my video. <laughs> okay, so there you go. That's been sent to Tracy there. And oh, I can mute the video. I can unmute the video, mute the mic, change the settings, do all sorts. I wonder what's on YouTube. Just clicking on YouTube. Oh, wow. So you can actually go and play a YouTube video. Wowee, that's amazing. Gosh, how exciting is this? <gasps> can, you, can you hear me now, Joe? I can hear you. Oh, okay, good. No, it, it's something wrong with the settings on my end. Okay, can you hear me? I can hear you. Tracy, you are live on the video that I'm currently making for everybody, all about Google at the moment, so say hello. <laughs> oh, hello, and I, I, I'm in my best flannels here. <laughs> How cool is this though? Tracy's all the way over in Australia. Whereabouts in Australia are you, Tracy? Townsville, North Queensland. North Queensland. Tracy's all the way over in North Queensland and I'm here in Barnsley in the UK and uh, we are chatting on a Google Hangout. How cool is that? It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. It's my, I think it's the best feature out of it. And the edit on the post, that's that's a really good feature too. <laughs> Fancy edit on the post, yeah, that's very good. Yeah, you can just go in and literally change your posts after you've, after you've posted them. <laughs> All right. Okay, just saying goodbye okay. to Tracy there off Hangouts, and I'm going to close Hangouts down. So that's fantastic. That's Hangouts for you, ladies and gentlemen. So... That is about it for now because the video is really long. We've got up to 17 minutes. So I'm going to call it that for now. I just wanted to give you an overview of how it works. There's loads more to tell you, loads more to share with you. And of course, um, over the coming you know days and weeks, etc., I will do various videos on the little bits and pieces that are within it, such as uh, inviting friends, getting more friends within your account, um, and uh, all the different sort of elements to posting status updates and sharing and getting your own URL and all sorts of stuff. But anyway, for now, I shall leave you with that. So uh, it'd be great to see some of you here um, on Google+. Plus. It's a little bit lonely in here at the moment. So uh, we definitely need to generate, so get some more friends on here and generate lots more conversations. So thanks very much for listening, guys. And I look forward to, uh, to seeing you on Google+, Plus very soon. For now, it's back to Facebook. See you soon. Bye-bye.